JNU. Of course, every, every other political party had their problems. But we are talking about the Labour Party here. If we have the same focus, the same purpose, the same agenda to make sure that this, country, this party takes over and provide qualitative leadership, then we must put away our interests and work in the collective uh, interest of the party and Nigerians. Now, you ask questions as to the, uh, uh, somebody by himself as a legal advisor. Well, for the records, I want to say emphatically that my name is still in INEC. Please verify. I am the authentic national legal advisor of Labour Party. I know uh, barrister Ken Deedun, who used to come around. He was never a member of Labour Party. He has never. As a matter of fact, Ken Deedun was the national secretary of the, the, I mean, the, registered, uh, the registered party, uh, PPA. PPA. He was the national secretary of PPA. He was never a, a member of Labour Party. Now, he used to come around, and if I used to come to my office as National Legal Advisor, I give him briefs to handle on behalf of the party. So the question of who is the National Legal Advisor is not in doubt. Go to the INEC uh, portal, you'll find out who is the National Legal Advisor. You, what the name you will see there is Akin Badeo Yuleka's National Legal Advisor. And I don't have any problem with Edu. Edu happens to be a Bure Legal Advisor, not Labour Party National Legal Advisor. Kanye Edu is a Bure Legal Advisor, a Bure I, I repeat, a Bure legal advisor, not Labour Party national legal advisor. So we don't have any issue, to, I mean, concerning who is the legal advisor of Labour Party, as we speak. Now, on the issue of, I want to make a clarification on the issue of the consent judgment. I was part of those who drafted the terms that was eventually uh, adopted as the consent judgment. And I want to say emphatically that NSC played their part, all right? But the Labour Party leadership, refuse to yield to advice as to how to go about it. So, in my honor, I state emphatically in my honor that the consent judgment was never obeyed. Very good. What we tried to do is we parry it because as at that time the leadership did not take to advice. So, and there is no better time to, I mean, to, to obey that judgment than now. This is the right time to obey the consent judgment. And I, I want to tell you that the NSC, in their wisdom, with INEC, called a peace meeting. I was part of that meeting. I was part of all the reconciliation meetings called by the NSC because of, in their quest to make sure that the party gets it right. In that meeting, we all agree that we should give effect to the consent judgment and immediately, I mean, call all the inclusive convention. Uh, Abure did not do that. Now, Abure, because of his interest in continuing to hold to power, decided to uh, go ahead to conduct illegal uh, convention and all that and all that. That is, not, that is the story for another day. But today, the consent judgment will be obeyed by those who have capacity, capacity to obey the consent judgment. And who are those people? Those people who are the offshoot of the convention in Akure are the beneficiary of the consent judgment, in which Abure happens to be part of them. Abure is also part of them. And I want to thank uh, Chief Kalisu Sokafu, who extended an invitation to everybody. Uh, my coming here today is for the, the consolidation of peace so that all of us can come together. It has nothing to do with a personal agenda, but for the purpose of the, uh, the, the, the fate of Labour Party and Nigerians so that we can get it right. We need peace, we need reconciliation. And that is what uh, this group has actually brought forward. And I'm fully in support of this reconciliation, 100% in support of this reconciliation that we can get it right. We got it wrong from the beginning. Why? We started suspending uh, people, started expelling people, even without recourse to our constitution. So this is the better time to get it right. And I'm fully in support of Labour Party getting it right at this point. And not that alone, this, this group are the only uh, people that has the constitutional mandate to call for a convention. As we speak today, the NSC, with due respect, cannot call for a national convention. There is no power to call. But this group, in alliance with uh, uh, NSC and other stakeholders, can call for convention and will put the house in order. And let me also uh, register this. It is not compulsory that we all part, we are part of the new new escorts that we were managed. It's not compulsory. But the most important thing is we must get it right. And so and allow other people to pilot 